Hey, it's Evan here. Just want to make another YouTube video, this time about shucking oysters. When I first started shucking oysters, it was really difficult for me. And, you know, I looked at a bunch of books and I couldn't really find any information other than, you know, put the knife in there and, and it wedged it open. So I thought I'd make a, a quick video of what I've kind of come to learn over the last uh, few months about while I've been shucking oysters. So here we have a bar cap oyster and it's been scrubbed. It's really, really clean. Um, I like to scrub all the way around the edges to knock off any loose pieces of shell that might come off and get any mud, quote mud, that's in the uh, uh, little joint here. So you need, first thing you need is a good oyster knife, a towel, and an oyster. That's all you need to shuck oysters. And what I usually do is kind of fold the towel over like this, put the oyster knife, there's a little, there's a little, I don't know exactly what it's called, but I'm pretty sure it's the, it's the joint, which is it's kind of like the, it's a it's either a hinge or it's kind of where they excrete their waste. So there'll be some mud in there, but you want to put it right in here. And then I usually just kind of rock the knife until I can feel it start to give a purchase. And then you just pop it. So I didn't really put any pressure. I didn't jab it in there or anything like that. You always want to wipe off the tip and at this point I'd actually wipe the broken pieces of shell off too. And then a lot of people tell you to put the knife in and then go across like this to cut the membrane. But I think that that is bad because it, it actually can chip the shell and the shell can end up. So I just put the, the, the knife right in here until I can feel the muscle that holds the two, because there's a muscle that holds the two shells together. You just clip that and the thing comes off. You don't have to scrape it across there because it's going to break off all this shell and that's going to get into uh, somebody's mouth. So I scrape off the little bit that might be left clinging to the top of this muscle here, get rid of that shell. And then the only other thing is I usually kind of wipe any of this extra mud away from the hinge there. And then the meat is actually held in place by this other, the other part of the muscle that holds two shells together. And so I kind of scrape around that a little bit. And a lot of people, I don't really do this, but a lot of people will flip it over. It looks a little more presentable that way. And then I always check the edges for any broken pieces of shell that might have gotten in there. And, and I'll wipe those off too. So that's it. Um, I hope I was able to shed some light on any of the, <laughs> on any of the uh, problems you might be having with shucking oysters. So thanks for your time. Appreciate